And my own feeling uh, is that, you know, the social networks are really sort of part of our lives today. And they are us. I mean, our, our digital selves are not a small thing. They, they're sort of, we live with them um, as part of us or like a family member. And um, they are, they're also a way for us to communicate with the world and with ourselves and with um, and, and sort of sh shape how we think, who we are, how we deal with the world, etc. So incredibly important. Something that's so important should it be in the hands of you know, a commercial enterprise or should it be at the meta level, which is in essence society's level? Personally, I think probably at the end at, this, at society's level because it is almost like you know, a basic good today. Um, meaning, uh, you know, communications like telephone lines became uh, a basic good. In some, you know, even though they were in private hands, uh, highly regulated. And I think social networks today are in a similar position. They're part of uh, everybody's uh, lifeblood in terms of, you know, essential needs uh, every day. And the question is, is it actually fair to ask these social networks to self-regulate on everything. There's a point where they can't win and they can't do it well. So the question is, what's the balance? Society itself needs to, frankly, take responsibility of it. The question, as Reid said, is how uh, do you put it in the hands of you know, government and um, in an environment where people distrust government and companies, uh, you know, which is the worst evil? At the end of the day, depending on how government is run, probably government is the right place because in theory, government is for everyone. And the question is, is government, uh, can you depoliticize uh, government so it's really there as a service? And that's a little bit what we try to argue in the book, is certain things should be depoliticized. They shouldn't be a winner and a loser. Bring people together, deliberate this question, for example, if you had a citizen's assembly, um, people who were chosen even randomly bring you know together how do you best address the question of uh, social networks how to regulate them how to you know make it fair uh, as much as possible you probably get a set of answers or set of proposals that are not unreasonable those can then inform um, the elected officials the appointed bureaucrats and the public so the idea that it becomes um, uh, you know a way to bring people together as opposed to just a fight.